Welcome back to the channel. We're playing 20 questions with uh, Jesse. Uh, I'm Bubble Butt Jesse on Instagram. All right, let's get into the questions. When I say fountain pen, what pen do you think of? A uh, Mont Blanc. All right. How did you get into pens? I found a fountain pen one time when I was in high school. And um, I was interested in it because it looked vintage. And so I picked it up. Uh, I tried it. And it was a nightmare to write with because it, it would take like 10 minutes. And I'm not joking. It would take 10 minutes to start to write. And then it would write like maybe a sentence and it would go dry. And I wanted so desperately to make it work because I, I would get so many compliments from students saying, oh, you got a cool pen. That's a beautiful pen. And it would boost my self-esteem, you know. So I was trying to make it work and I just couldn't. And one time I just let out my frustration out in the parking lot and I took the pen and yeah, I just threw it on the on the concrete and just smashed it in the concrete. And I started, I started, uh, it, it made me feel good, oddly enough, it made me feel good. Like after that, it was like a release. And uh, <clears throat> after that, I just, there was a long plateau where I didn't get any fountain pens. And uh, then I saw some fountain pens in, um, where did I see it? I think the mall. I saw some fountain pens there and I got interested again. So, and I got my first um, uh, fountain pen at uh, Drum Goals. All right. When you got back into pens, what was the first pen you purchased? So I remember the first time I went to Drum Goals, uh, they, uh, they told me how much did I want to spend? And I told them, you know, like 200 something. and. I don't recommend doing that right away because um, you, you almost feel pressured to buy something right away. I would just browse first and then kind of see what pens attract you. You know, they would tell me, how much do you want to spend? Are you looking for a, a vintage style look or something modern? And I went with vintage style. And they, so they showed me some S Esther Brooks. And it was like this uh, big, it was like an oversized one. And I got one that was orange with a gold nib. And I took that to work. And after a month, I lost it. <clears throat> and uh, that was my first uh, fountain pen. And then it took a couple of months before I went and went to Drumgos again and got my first solid mountain, uh, fountain pen, which was a Lamy 2000. All right. Uh, what's your current daily driver? Uh, the Lamy 2000. Because okay. it's so easy to uncap, you know, and then post. You don't have to unscrew it or anything like that. And uh, if you leave it somewhere, people will probably overlook it and wouldn't want to take it. So that's like the perfect pen to like take to work. And I have a running list, like a running to-do list with my Hobonichi. So I keep that with my Hobonichi every every time I go anywhere. So I just keep that like a running to-do list. All right. What's your favorite ink? Favorite ink, it would have to be the Drum Ghost exclusive uh, uh, Texas Black Bat ink. Okay. Yeah, and the bottle is so cool too because it has like a, a Halloween pumpkin on the bottle and it has like this uh, bat and uh, I just love the bottle of that. And also the ink is so good because it's so saturated. Like when you write with it on the paper, it kind of looks um, oily. And I like that look. So when I'm writing with it, I'm always like admiring how it looks on the paper. So I really love that ink. All right. What's your favorite brand of either pens or ink? Uh, ink would have to be Noodlers. And... Um, Pens would have to be a uh, Mont Blanc because of the nibs. They're, they're kind of soft. So, yeah. I want to try Pelican because they say the nibs are soft too. So I want to try that next. Vintage or modern? Uh, modern. 
Do you swatch all your inks? Uh, I do. When I first get an ink, I have to swatch it. So I have a little a little book, uh, the Tomoe River book, and I always swatch because I I can't wait to see it. You know, I want to see all the properties and stuff, and then com- go back to it to compare. So I just have a little notebook with like a splotch of ink there. Okay. Are there any pens that you daily drive the same ink and pen combination, or do you always switch it up? So I'm always using the same ink and the same pen. So I have a couple of notebooks for my Hibonichi, uh, the to-do list. So I use that with uh, Lamy 2000 with a bearing grease ink from Birmingham. And that's kind of like the, the Texas Black Bat ink. It's very thick. And I use for my journal, I use um, a, um, what's it called? Um, I use a Mont Blanc at, what's it called? Rouge and Noir, the snake. Okay. Yeah. I, I can't, I know the color. I'll, as always, yeah, I'll it's a link thin down pen. below. Yeah, I can show you. Because I can't, can't think of the name. It's this one. Yeah. So I okay. use this, and I use the black bat ink. And then for my workouts, I work out a lot. So I use a Rhodia notebook because that just dries, dries so much faster. And I use a, um, a bra- I use my uh, Caveco Bronze Sport, which is this one. And I use okay. Noodler's Rome. Okay. Which dries super fast and it actually looks better when you sweat on it. It doesn't, it's waterproof. So it doesn't, you can still read it. But when you sweat on it, the, the dye kind of, um, washes into a yellow and it kind of creates a halo effect. And it looks like a, the ink is burned into the paper. Oh, that sounds really cool. Yeah. So I like that. And those are pretty much the, Things I use in pens. Uh, do you keep your writing samples of nibs in a way that you can flip through them so you know what nibs write like, or do you just know every nib and every pen? I just know every nib and every pen. Okay. What's a pen you wish you could see in person? In person. So I want to see a Santini pen. And he's almost, I, th- I think he only shows up at the DC pen show. So that's going to be hard. But I want to try their flexi nibs. Because I heard they're like soft and mushy. And I kind of want another pen like that. So that, and I want to try a Pelican 1000, M1000. All right. What's your current grail? Uh, the Mont Blanc Skeleton, which is out of my price range right now. Because it's like, I think it's 15000 But uh, <clears throat> I do eventually want to get that one day. Okay. What's a pen you would recommend to a beginner? Uh, the Lamy 2000. <laughs> What's an ink you would recommend to a beginner? Uh, the Texas Black Bat from Noodlers. Okay. What advice do you have for somebody wanting to try out phantom pens who might be a bit intimidated by them? Um, don't get frustrated. There's always a pen that will write just how you want it. If you just want to do a cartridge, there's a pen for that's a fountain pen for that. If you want a, the complete um, a fountain pen experience, you want to use a bottle, there's one for that too. Um, yeah, just just go for just do your research, and you're on your way. What filling mechanism do you think is most interesting, regardless of if you actually like to use it or not? Um, hmm. I think the lever, that seems like such a pain to use, you know? Such a pain to use. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't, I would not want to use that at all. <laughs> there's, su- yeah. there's such a pain to use, but there's yeah, so much just, fun. Yeah, it just brings me back to my high school days, you know, like, I don't want any frustration now. What nib size do you prefer to write with? 
I like a double broad uh, cursive italic. Okay. Is there a style of nib you love or find interesting but would never actually write with? There's some stack nibs. I think there's one called the Raganort or something like that. I'd like to write with one, but I mean, I wouldn't use it. No. Stop, uh, stack nibs come up a shocking amount in this. We, we all find them interesting and intriguing, but none of us would daily drive them. <laughs> You know, I heard uh, Penn Sloth, have, do you follow him? Yep. He said he, I think he does them, right? He does those? I think, yeah, I think he makes them. Yeah, he says that he doesn't even use those. So, <laughs> yeah, but they're interesting, you know? They are. Uh, do you always use the same paper? If so, what paper? Yeah, I use Tamoya River uh, for. Any everything but uh, workouts. Like when I'm working out, I need something to dry fast, so I use Rhodia, okay. and that works great. What's your least favorite ink or ink color family? Um, <clears throat> I would say green, a uh, bright green, like a light green. I hate that color, and uh, yeah. Well. Thanks for playing 20 questions. Okay. Thanks for having me.